Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Marco Sweets and Spices. This is ice cream. Um, we have the Moroccan Honey Nut. And the Turkish Mocha. These were $6.99 each at the Fresh Market. And I have not seen this brand anywhere else. Mm. I haven't seen it at Whole Foods or anywhere. Um, so, so I had never heard of these before, so I was thrilled to find them. I'm trying to see where they're actually made. If you find that while I'm reading, you can let me know. It says, Culinary Flavors Global Traditions. Long ago, Marco apprenticed under a renowned spice merchant in Marrakesh. Pleasantly filling his time measuring, weighing, and brightening patrons' days with his far-flung tales of all the fragrant aromas he encountered, none was more enticing than his mentor's Razzle Hanout, a house blend unique to each purveyor made from dozens of spices with a flavor all of its own. His final task before departing was to create his own, a sumptuous mix we share with you today. Uh, Denver, Colorado is what it looks like. So all that, and they're made in Colorado? Well, that's where the company's at, at least. Okay. <laughs> that's where the company's at. I don't know if they're actually manufactured there. But that's okay, the Two th there's three servings in the container. Two-thirds cup, 105 grams is 250 calories, or you can eat the entire pint for 760 calories. This is luxurious honey with almonds and warm Moroccan spices. And uh, we have had these laying out, they're sealed. We've had them laying out and it feels like it's gonna be really, really soft, but we'll see. Okay, oh, it's Not perfect. No, yeah. it's perfect. We, we usually never know how long to lay them out to get them a little Yeah, you from. don't the first time. It smells good. Well, you can smell the, you smell the spices in there. Smell it. Oh, yeah. Did not you, like spices like cinnamon or anything. Well, did you get cinnamon. to look at the ingredients? No. There's definitely spices in there. Oh, that tastes like eggnog. Mm -hmm, a little bit. Oh, it's strong. Yeah, I think it's got some ginger in there. Oh, yeah. Um, it says milk, cream, sugar, roasted almonds, dairy milk, honey. Um, it tastes like eggnog. Something spice blend. Orange, really orange blossom water. It just says spice blend. It doesn't say what's in the spice blend. Definitely has nutmeg, ginger, 100%. Absolutely, 100%. It is... I like it, but it's almost too strong for me. Yeah, it's not as sweet as an as as eggnog. Egg and, um, and it's got more of a ginger bite. Yes, it will bite you. It will, like like the back of my throat is, um, it has a burn. Yes, there's a burn in the back of my throat. I'll tell you what, it's a thick ice cream because, I mean, just putting your spoon through it wants to shift the whole thing around. Oh, it's, I love how creamy it is. You, It's already started to, to melt in the bottom of my bowl. Very thick, very creamy. Yeah. I love the texture. The almonds are a little, like, soft. That doesn't bother me. I mean, it, you know, I expect that. I just want you to know, I don't mind it either, mm -hmm. but um, the almonds have gotten a little softer, so they're kind of almost chewy instead of crunchy. This, I actually like that ginger kick in there. I do too, and I was going to say, if you want something with a, a kick, and you don't want it to be like alcohol based because that's what that's what it, it it's the level of it's like if when when they put alcohols in ice cream it gives it a real punch this gives it a real punch of that yeah, ginger flavor ginger punch, yeah. i like it quite a bit but some people would say that's too strong yeah oh yeah if you don't like ginger you, this is like ginger uh, snap level it's right up like i said it's almost too much for me it, it's not. I like it, but it would be too much for some people. I like it. I, I think I like the ginger burn better than I do the cinnamon burn. I agree. No, I agree with you. Because the, I the ginger that. burn is a nice smooth burn. Yeah. Um, a little tingle in the back of your throat. Whereas a cinnamon is kind of harsh and raw. Yeah, I don't want a cinnamon. Yeah. That, no, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. So this is Turkish mocha. Bold, complex coffee with cardamom and chocolate flakes. Sometimes I don't like that flavor. 260 calories for two-thirds cup or 790 for the pint. 
where you've all seen. Sometimes yeah, I don't like that card. Well, sometimes you don't want coffee either. That's true. That's not Turk. Is it Turkish coffee? Yeah, Turkish coffee is really strong anyway. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I was getting it's resistance. It's from all those chips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots. I can smell the coffee. It smells good to me. Yeah, I'm thinking Turkish coffees are those little bitty coffees that are really, 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 really dark and thick. Well, they're about that color. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I haven't, I don't remember having that flavor before. That coffee will wake you up in the morning, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. We've had coffee ushers that's very similar to that, though. It's that dark. Well, it's like an extra, there's like a little extra punch in there. Mm. Mm. That's not one for me. They did an excellent job. I like the chips in there. Yeah. I like how crispy I they like are. Crispy chips. Yeah, that, that's nice. It adds a little bit of a texture to it. Mm -hmm. Although, if they had left it out and just had the smooth, the, cr the creamy coffee, we would just I would have been fine with that too. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like those little chocolate pieces have like little... Um, coffee beans in them. I'm getting something stuck in my teeth. I like this. It reminds me of um, coffee that's been sitting in a coffee pot all day long. Yeah, it's kind of got that burnt coffee flavor. So, uh, Turkish coffee, I guess that's what it would be, is it's a, it's a very strong, black, heavy coffee that's going to kick your butt out the door in the mm -hmm. morning. Yeah, it um, feels like it would give you a, a, a for sure. Yeah, um, I like it. I think they did a good job with oh, it. It wouldn't be something I would get all the time because it is a very, very strong coffee. Mm -hmm. um, you know what, but I do getting, like it. If you're liking coffee and want a coffee flavor though, that's got it. In spades. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's hard to up. resist that creamy, just eating more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the texture's really, really nice. And because it, when it gets melty around the edge, it's so fun to just scoop that up and and eat the liquid off your spoon. Yeah, it, it's it's good. It's just not a personal favorite. I would much rather have the, the other one. Well, the honey one, I bought spices. two more uh, flavors of Marco from Marco. Uh, two more flavors for us to try because, like I said, we went in the fresh market. I had never seen these before, and so I grabbed every one that I saw. And so we will be doing another review of these. So if you're curious, these were very bold now we kind of know what to expect from this brand is um they say marco sweets and spices so they're letting you know that whatever spice they use you're going to get a kick of it so i don't remember what i bought it'll be interesting to see uh, but now we know it's going to be a punch of whatever flavor that yeah. is yeah they did a good job yeah so i will have a close-up picture for you at the end and thanks for watching